Balesteros is on my mind. I grew up by the West Philippine Sea. My hometown, Balesteros, is in the province of Cagayan, on the northernmost tip of the island of Luzon. I knew there were places beyond my little world of Balesteros, because whenever I turned on the battery-operated radio, I heard programs coming from Taiwan and China. The West Philippine Sea on the edge of the town was the main attraction in Balesteros. The residents went to the beach to relax and have a good time. My friends and I enjoyed playing on the sand. I got you! We also love watching the sun slowly go down. Many of the residents earned their living from fishing. Sometimes in the afternoons, my siblings, cousins, and I helped the fishers hole in their huge nets. As reward, we were given a handful of their catch. Thanks. This will be our dinner tonight. When the tides ebbed, small shellfish called gaka were left on the sand. Gaka could be found only in a few coastal towns of Cagayan. Fishers would wade into the waist-deep seawater and scoop the gaka out of the sand using a basket with a bamboo handle called taco. Cooking the gaka was simple. Boiling water was poured over the gaka and immediately drained. Then, the shells were ready to be opened. Eating the shellfish was a kind of sport. Men popped a few pieces of gaka into their mouths, separated the meat with their teeth, then quickly spat out the shells. Can you do it again? My friends and I watched the gaka eaters in amazement. I love it. People told countless stories about the sea. My siblings and I listened to Grand Aunt Inding's Tale of a Mermaid. Many years ago, a mermaid appeared several times on the beach to a good-looking gentleman. The sea was also feared. Every year, at least one person drowned. I rarely went swimming because I was afraid. At night, as I lay in bed, I could hear the loud waves crashing into the beach. Their sounds calming me to sleep. In a dream, I saw my footprints disappear beneath the shifting sand. My friends and I played a lot. The whole town was our playground. I found you. No, you didn't. One game we particularly played was the sumka, played by two persons on a wooden board with holes on it. I won! I have the most number of shells in my house. Wow, congrats! Thursdays and Sundays were market days in late afternoon. I stood and watched every westward bound Kalesa. Grandma! Oh, hello, grandson! Most days, Grandma Polda, my father's mother, appeared in one of them. Thanks, Grandma! I spent right away the coins Grandma Polda gave me. My first job as a child was selling the newspaper Manila Bulletin. Manila Bulletin. It was very late by the time I finished the job. I was paid only a few centavos, but I loved earning money. I attended the Balestero Central Elementary School. Most of my schoolmates were children of fishers and farmers. Some of them came to school barefoot. I felt blessed because I wore slippers. We studied hard and also played hard during recess. Our school was like our second home. We helped clean the rooms before and after school. At the end of the day, we even did outside chores, such as pulling out weeds in the schoolyard. A day in early January 1964, 
is when I can never forget. I was still on Christmas break. Life went on as usual. At the end of the school year, the residents attended the school's closing ceremonies. When the names of the honor students were called, their proud parents came up the stage and pinned ribbons on them. Some members of the audience also went on stage to present gifts to honor students. It was a big event. Many years later, my family and I came. To America, I am now a special education teacher at the John W. Garvey Elementary School in Chicago. Doctor De La Cruz, where's Balesteros? Whenever I get a chance, I tell my students stories of my wonderful childhood in Balesteros. Do you think we can go visit Balesteros tomorrow? It's not that easy. We have to take two big planes and travel for about a day. Oh, by the way, this is how gakas look like. Cool. I have taught my students how to play the sunka, the game I enjoyed playing as a child. <laughs> I remember people, places, and events in Balesteros as if they happened only yesterday. Sometimes I feel like I can still breathe the salty breeze of the sea and hear the whooshing sound of water rushing to the beach. I see my grandma Polda getting off the calesa. My friends calling me to play. Ballesteros is on my mind.